It's the first Saturday NHL jam-packed slate of the 2024-2025 season, and I can't wait to break down every single game for you guys in one video. Rather rapid fire, uh, rather quickly, we'll get a few points in on each team, but guys, we're going to discuss a pick on every single game on the board for Saturday in the NHL. Welcome into Wager Talk TV, guys. I am Andrew McGinnis, also the host of Puck Time Monday through Friday, of course, found on Wager Talk TV. Off to a low volume, quiet 5 and 1 plus 11 unit start to the season in the NHL. Seeing the board really well. Free plays are going well. We're going to try and crush the board on Saturday in the NHL. I got a promotional code to get to for you guys in a few moments, but uh, let's not waste any time, guys. Let's jump right into a few picks on tap in the NHL for Saturday. And yes, guys, uh, don't mind me looking at some notes, uh, trying to remember some things here. It's a lot of games uh, to break down, so we kind of have to have some stuff to look at here. Let's start things off. Early afternoon action. I can't believe the Bruins do this to their fans all the time. I'm more of a night game myself, night, night game guy. I like watching the games at night, but hey, Kings and Bruins. First game of the massive Saturday slate at TD Garden. And we're going to go ahead and take the under here, guys. There are some five and a half shop round for sixes if you can find them. You know, some might say the Kings have ad adapted to the Eastern time zone because they've been in Quebec. They were all around, um, you know, the Eastern side of things uh, for a little while. I still think this is an early game, you know, an early game for both these teams to get kickstarted into the NHL season. And it'll only be the second game of the regular season for both the Bruins and the Kings. And I think both teams at their real core of who they are, their true identity our defensive teams, guys. So this one should have a slow start to it. Could be an exciting game by all means. Good goaltending, good defense, forwards that play responsibly. But this is a game that definitely should see lots of defense. And we're going to go under in this one. All right, next game up here. We're going to look at uh, Devils on the money line. We're going to take the Devils on the money line here, guys. The Devils lost in Sheldon Keefe's regular, uh, excuse me, his regular season debut was in Prague, but uh, his North American regular season debut against his former team, the Toronto Maple Leafs. They lose that one 4-2, but I think they'll bounce back. You know, they were so satisfied. They were happy. They came away from Prague uh, in, over there in Europe with uh, a 2-0 record, and uh, they opened things up in their home opener in Jersey, and they dropped that game. Real tough start to them uh, for for them in that first period against the Maple Leafs, and they just weren't able to recover. They weren't able to get back on track, so they lose that game. But now they get a pretty good opportunity here um, to play a Washington team. They'll be in their home opener. The Devils have already played three games at this point, and it will mark Washington's first game of the season. I think Washington's going to be a respectable team, but it'll take some time for them to get things going. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and take the Devils on the money line. Don't love this price doesn't necessarily, but I think it's a price that's worth laying here uh, in this game, the second game of the massive NHL Saturday slate. All right, guys, I did say I have a promotional pass and coupon code to give you guys. This is a good one. You know, we're off to a low volume, slow but steady start here. Five and one this NHL season. I'll tell you what, guys. On the Thursday slate, I loved a ton. And a lot of those plays looked real strong. Uh, but decided to go 2-0. and oh, Gave out two plays. We hit those. We're plus 11 units. You guys can use the promo code SAVE50. SAVE50 will take $50 off a 30-day NHL pass. Why buy one play at a time? Why buy daily? The best way to operate uh, is just to go a little bit longer term. You know, if you don't want to buy the season, I get that. You know, you don't want to buy a 90-day pass, but save 50 will take $50 off a 30-day NHL package. I think it's a real good call, guys, especially for a day like Saturday or you're out there running around on the weekend. You're going to get all the plays that I end up releasing to clients right to your phone, right to your email, and you guys can lock those in right when I lock those in as well. That's save 50 to take $50 off my 30-day NHL pass. Okay, guys, next play up here, Sabres and Panthers. Buffalo, they can't lose four in a row, can they? Well, I think they probably could. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing, guys. People love to say that. Uh, I was on LA on Thursday night. All I heard from people was, well, Buffalo can't lose three in a row, can they? They did. They, in fact, they did. And in this game, 
Not going to get much easier for them playing against the Florida Panthers, who just lost against the Ottawa Senators on Thursday night. Um, they did win in their home opener against the Bruins. Uh, but I do think the Buffalo Sabres will find the back of the net a few times. I do think they'll score some goals a few times, but you can never undermine the Florida Panthers and the offense that they have. Give me the over in this game, guys. Over six, Florida Panthers, Buffalo Sabres. I don't know if the Buffalo Sabres are going to win or not, guys. I don't know uh, when that win's going to come for them. I'll tell you what, if they go 0-4, 0-5 to start the year off, it's going to be real tough for them. But I do think this is the highest scoring game that we see out of them so far. So we'll go up and over six Panthers and Sabres in that one. All right, next game up on tap, Penguins and Maple Leafs. This should be a great one, guys. Sidney Crosby versus Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner and company in the home opener at Scotiabank Arena for the Toronto Maple Leafs here, guys. And I've got one name and one name only for you guys. Austin Matthews. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to take him to score a goal every game. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to take his shots on goal props every game. But the fact is, he hasn't scored a goal, didn't score a goal against Montreal, didn't score a goal against New Jersey. He's waiting to get home. He is waiting for that home opener. He is going to score a goal on Saturday night in Toronto. He's going to fly over his shots total once again like he did both games so far this season. Austin Matthews to get a goal Saturday night. That's my prop play. Lock that in, guys. I do think that game has a bunch of goals as well. Um, as we saw both games so far under their new head coach for the Leafs has gone under the total. I've gone under the total, but I do think this game could see some goals. Of course, Pittsburgh off that win where they put up six goals against Detroit, um, but their defense still didn't look very good. So could see some goals, could see an over in that one, but let's lock in Austin Matthews over on his, uh, or to get a goal. You know, that's the play Austin Matthews to get a goal guys. Uh, let's look to cash that one in. All right. Rangers and uh, Utah, Utah HC, Utah Hockey Club. They're 2-0, and guys. Don't look now. Utah Hockey Club 2-0 and on the season. Well, I think the fun ends right there. I think the fun ends right there. They're a good team. They've gotten a lot better, but they're still the old Arizona Coyotes, you know, or I guess the new version of the Arizona Coyotes. I'm going to go with the Rangers minus a half goal in the first period at plus 130. You know, second game on the road for the Utah Hockey Club. Uh, they're a team that's been battling. You know, they got a lot of effort over there. They got four lines that roll, but New York looked good against Pittsburgh. I feel like they're going to look good in this one again against Utah, getting Utah in a tough spot uh, with their traveling. And at MSG Saturday night, this is an advantageous spot here for New York to get the job done. I think they're going to get the job done early and often. If you guys have plans Saturday night, well, these are a ton of plays already you can lock in. Uh, but hey, how about a first period play? First period, minus a half goal, plus 130 for the New York Rangers. All right, guys, if you're enjoying this video, if you guys want me to do these every game on the board, pick videos more often every single weekend, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and show some love. Show some love. Let Wager Talk know. You're enjoying these videos, and I'll start doing them uh, a lot more often. Might even do some every game on the board videos during the week. And just a reminder, I'm not betting every single one of these plays. These are instant reactions. These are some picks that I looked at and some thoughts that I really liked going into this Saturday's card. And again, guys, we're off to a real good start. I mean, I'm 5-1 and one in the NHL so far, but I, I could easily be, you know, 10-2 and two with a lot of these plays that I really, really liked. But I'm low volume. Low volume approach, one day at a time, a few plays at a time. Use that promo code, SAVE50. It's only good until Monday. SAVE50 will take $50 off a 30-day NHL package. SAVE50, guys, is the best way to go to get all of my NHL plays. If I have a 5% play, it's 35 bucks. Two 5% plays, 70 bucks. You know what I mean? You use that promo code SAVE50. You're going to get 30 days of NHL action for close to 125 bucks. You cannot beat that deal. Let's keep things going here. All right. Ottawa, Montreal. You guys know I'm a Canadiens fan. I get that. I think everybody knows I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan. Let's not forget, though. Ottawa, they're off an emotional victory, an exciting victory. First game with Allmark as their goaltender against a rival 
the Florida Panthers, of course, both the Kachuk brothers love going at it. They love facing each other. Now here's the story for the Canadians. Emotional win for them against Toronto. <clears throat> and then they go in to Boston and they don't look good whatsoever. You know, they come out flat and they give up a ton of goals against Boston. That will refocus a young team. You know, Montreal does not look good in second half of back-to-backs, but usually the game after they get crushed, they come back and play some pretty good hockey. I think the, the Ottawa Senators are a step up on the Canadians, but I like this plus price here on the Montreal Canadiens. Give me the Canadians, the Habs, the Blue Blanc, and Rouge. Plus 120 will take the Canadians to get the job done in the underdog role. Preds and Wings. Guys, I don't have a lot on this game, uh, really, but I kind of like the Predators here to get the job done. It's going to be a tough start, I think, to the year for the Red Wings. This is the thing. Tarasenko, Patrick Kane, Larkin, so many great players, but defensively, guys, defensively, I worry about this team. And the Preds, to me, they're off that loss against the Dallas Stars. They're going to want to get back on track, and I think they do. I think they do. It's a good spot here. We'll take the Preds on the money line. Predators, Nashville, to get the job done. Islanders and Stars. Stars off that victory against the very Nashville Predators we just spoke about. Um, The Islanders off that loss against Utah. Under, 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 under. Guys, this Islanders team at their very core, they're still an under team. They're still a defensive team. And I think you look at this Stars team, they are more than capable of being a defensive and low-scoring team as well. We'll take the under in that game. Uh, For the most part, I am seeing a six uh, as the total. There might even be some five and a halfs, but I look towards the under in that one. Kraken versus Wild. Guys, the Wild played against the Columbus Blue Jackets in their first game, and they just scraped by. Just squeaked out a victory here. Meanwhile, you have a Kraken team that blew a lead against the St. Louis Blues in the opening day of the NHL on Tuesday, and they have not played since. Give me the Kraken plus 120 on the money line to play spoiler against the Minnesota Wild. The Wild opened their season against one of the worst teams in the league. All right. You've got a pissed off and not so happy Kraken team that will not be satisfied at all coming into this game. They'll be hungry to get back on track. Give me the Kraken plus 120. Let's go with Jackets now. Speaking of that very Jackets team, an avalanche under six and a half. Here's the deal, guys. This is a strategy I'm going to look at going into this season because I noticed this last year, and it's one thing I really took note of. When you look at two teams playing each other, one team is supposed to be really good. One team's not supposed to be good whatsoever. The total is six and a half. The team that's not very good is going to do everything they can to prevent goals. They're going to sit back. Park the bus, if you will, and to use some soccer terminology. They're sacrificing offense to defend their their side of the ice. A lot of these games end 3-1, 4-1, you know, 4-2. 6.5 is high. You know, you're probably going to need five goals out of the Avalanche to get this. And I don't think we're going to get many goals out of the Jackets, so I do lean towards the under 6.5 here in this one. Ducks and Sharks. Uh, Ducks, first game of the season. Are you kidding me? They get the whole week off while other teams have already played a few games. The Sharks had the lead. They were up 4-1 over the St. Louis Blues. They blow it. They blow it, and uh, you know all of a sudden, they lose. And you, you can't lose games that you were leading that by that many goals as a bad team. Because I'll tell you what, the Sharks aren't going to be up 4-1 in games very often like they were, and then they ended up losing. Give me the uh, Ducks on the money line, guys, to get the job done in their first game of the season. Oilers, minus out, minus one and a half versus the Hawks. The Hawks will be on the second half of a back-to-back. Still a young team for the most part. Uh, even though they added some more experienced guys, I think they're going to be fatigued, and the Oilers did lose and get embarrassed to the Jets in their first game of the season. <coughs> oh, man. This is a lot of talking, guys, and a lot of picks to go over. Uh, It's a good thing I only have one game left, and that game is Philadelphia and Calgary. We're going to go over one and a half in the first period. I don't play a ton of first period plays. When I do, we seem to have success. Uh, Calgary, they got man, that game they played against Vancouver was off to a bang in the first period. A ton of goals in that first period. They ended up winning that game. 
Philadelphia. They'll be on the second half of a back-to-back as they are playing uh, on Friday night. So early in the season, second half of back-to-backs, they do hit you pretty hard. And I feel like it is tough for that team that's playing to play well defensively. So I do expect at least two goals early and often in that game. Holy smokes, guys. That's every single game. Every single game on Saturday in the NHL. I'm pumped. Fired up, guys. Do me a solid. If you watched this video, please hit the like button and comment. Just say what's up. Let me know what you're betting. Uh, anything you'd like to say. You know what I mean? Try, try to be respectful. Try to keep it cool. But, uh, man, that's a lot of picks. That's a lot of talking and in just a short period of time. But Saturday, every game on the board. Let me know if you appreciated it. Let me know if you like these videos. And, guys, please, if you want to join me on my NHL Plays don't buy my daily picks tomorrow. Save 50. Promo code SAVE50 will take 50 bucks off a 30-day NHL package, guys. All right. Thanks so much for watching. And happy Thanksgiving to all the Canadian viewers watching this as I'm heading off uh, to enjoy a nice getaway for this weekend here in the eastern part of Canada. Cheers, guys. Keep your stick on the ice. And uh, best of luck. I'll see you next time.